Yeah, I mean, I hate it for Kevin Mendering. His first year as a cup crew chief, he's given this opportunity with seven-time champion Jimmy Johnson. They roll into Daytona and win the first race they're in. They win the clash. But I think something had to change. It's like all year long they've been taking two steps forward, three steps back. They've never had more than two consecutive top ten finishes all year long. And I just think they had to do something to see if they can make something better. I don't disagree with Larry that something had to change. I'm a little perplexed by the timing of it, though. I figured they would have at least tried to see if they could get into the playoffs with Kevin Mendring as the crew chief. Wait until that point. If you miss the playoffs, then make the change. Start building towards the following season, towards towards the 2020 season. So I'm a little surprised about the timing of it, and in particular because I felt like this, this team was trending the right direction. They were getting more speed. They've been getting better. Yes, some bad luck, but a little, little surprised about the timing. But think if this goes in the right direction. You get some momentum. And all of a sudden, they get hot at the right time as we go into the playoffs. Let's get reaction from Jimmy Johnson and his new crew chief, Cliff Daniels. I would say we can go back to when we uh, went to the Sonoma racetrack. Uh, we made a change on our engineering side. Cliff Daniels came back to the 48 team. He's was with us since, I think, like 2014 or something like that. Won a championship together, a lot of races. Uh, but he came back on the road with us. and. Right away, there was just a, an uptick in energy and uh, you know, just just the the spark within the team was there on, on just a higher level. And as the last four or five weeks have developed, uh, it just became apparent that, that that spark is something we need to pursue. Um, and as difficult as it's been to to uh, change roles, um, you know, we, we had to we had to do it. Um, Kevin did nothing wrong. He's a phenomenal guy, a very smart guy. Um, I know that we have big plans for him within the company. And I would say that crew chiefing is, is still in the future for him. Um, but there's kind of a fit factor with people and a team and team dynamics and this whole human dynamics thing that when, when Cliff came back, we just saw the team just go to a little different level, and we need to pursue that. These guys are so talented and they're so motivated right now. So that's, that's very encouraging. Jimmy has as much fire as he's probably ever have, which is so cool. Um, so, so coming in, we have a long history together. We've worked together with me as his engineer for a long time. Uh, obviously, I've learned a lot from, from the canal stays, uh, just some of the transitions that, that we've been through. So with the strength of the team, we have the best driver, best owner, best sponsor, um, and, and again, the best team. So uh, it's, it's a lot to look forward to. All right, so I liked what I heard right there. I heard energy, spark, and fire between the two of them. What do you expect after hearing those two talk about the future? Well, I think you got two completely different personalities is the first thing that I see right there. Kevin Mendering is a very quiet guy. He's a very smart guy, but he doesn't say a lot. He's not going to be outspoken. He's not going to be in Jimmy's ear in the race car, much like Chad Knauss was, constantly on his back and telling him, hey, go faster, do this different, try this differently. I hear a little bit of that out of Cliff right there in that interview alone. He seems like he's got that energy. He seems like he's a completely different personality. And I think reading in between the lines of what Jimmy was saying in his interview that's what he kind of wanted that's what maybe they were lacking just a little bit that's not to take anything no. away from Kevin Mendering he is a very good crew chief and has won a lot of races at the Xfinity level this just might not have been the right fit at the right time for him 